CSS3 brought a cool feature to the browser called filters. Now, back in the olden days, <laughs> with uh, early versions of IE, IE5, 5.5, 5 6, um, there was a Microsoft property for the browser called filter, but this one is different. This one is more akin to what you would be doing in Photoshop with your content. So you can see here, I've got examples of all the different filters that you can apply. So each one of them is a method. Blur, brightness, contrast, drop, shadow, grayscale, hue, rotate, invert, opacity, saturate, and sepia. And here's them being applied. So I have a little piece of text and an image for each one of them. The filter applies to both, to all content inside the element. So the first one, I'm applying the blur with a radius of 4 pixels as you change the radius. So if I made this 14 pixels, it would pretty much be unrecognizable. There we are. So you add the pixel radius for the blur. The blur is applied to all the content, text, images, whatever you have inside there. Uh, brightness. If you went to a brightness of 1, it would be just the original. So if I set that to one, refresh, there we go. This is the original color. This is the original image. And then you go down to zero for the brightness. And we're down to black. The image is full black. The text is all black. All the brightness has been removed. And then anything in between. So 0.5, there we are. So 50% of the brightness of the color and 50% the brightness of the image. Contrast, same sort of thing. So there's 80% of the contrast of the original image, so we can reduce the contrast. Uh, drop shadow works almost the same as the text shadow and box shadow. So you can see it being applied. Here is the box shadow. Here's the text shadow effect. Uh, you've got the horizontal, the vertical offset, the blur radius, the color that you want to use. Um, <clears throat> apparently it just performs a little bit better than the simple text shadow. So the grayscale, we've got one for full grayscale, or we have zero for no grayscale being applied. Like that, hue rotate. So if you're familiar with how the HSL colors work, hue, think of a color wheel where zero or 360 degree mark on the circle, that's red. And you go around through orange, yellow, green, uh, teal, blue, coming up into purple, indigo, and back to red. So you're rotating on the color wheel by 90 degrees. My green becomes this light blue color, the cyan. And you can see that the skin tones changed as well. So the hue has been rotated on everything inside of here. Invert, self-explanatory, 0 or 1, kind of like grayscale. Opacity, I've set it at 10%. So the alpha is 10% on this. Um, saturate. Same sort of idea as grayscale, but this one is a range with the saturation we can set at a different percentage. Grayscale is 0 or 1, it's on or off. Saturate, we can add or remove the color. And then sepia. So we've got a full sepia effect here. There is also another one URL. If you have an SVG filter that you want to apply to something, you can provide the URL for the SVG image that is going to be used as the filter for your content. And that's it. That's CSS filters. So have a lot of fun with that. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you found it useful, please share it. And as always, thanks for watching.